Oh, then I called my friend on the Tachyonic Antitelephone tomorrow and- What, you don't have one yet? Here, let me explain. A tachyonic antitelephone is the name of a hypothetical device that is capable of sending messages back in time. First envisioned by Einstein and later considered by Tolman and then Benford, Book, and Newcomb, it functions by taking advantage of the weird world revealed to us by Einstein's special relativity. In particular, it takes advantage of the relativity of simultaneity. Let's work an example. Say that you transmit a signal at a speed 10 times the speed of light to your friend who is moving 99% the speed of light away from you. You have an agreement that whenever your friend receives a signal from you, she sends another signal back again at 10 times the speed of light. So say you send your signal to your friend when she is one light year away from you, which took her 1.01 years to get to. In roughly the time that she travels an additional 11% of a light year, your signal gets to her, which is roughly 1.12 years after she left Earth. Now from her perspective, because of time dilation, she's only experienced 0.16 years since she left Earth when she received the signal, and she sees the Earth receding at 99% the speed of light. So in her frame, when she receives the signal, the Earth is roughly 0.16 light years away or so. So she sends the signal back at 10 times the speed of light. From her perspective, it should take an additional 0.017 years for you to receive the signal, meaning that in her frame, you'll receive the signal after a total of 0.177 years of her time. And from her perspective, your clock is running about 7 times slower, so she calculates that your clock will have measured 0.025 years between her leaving Earth and you receiving her signal, which means that she sends a signal back to you almost a year before you sent your signal. Now this can obviously lead to paradoxes, like your friend sending you a signal telling you not to send your signal in the first place. This causes a genuine causal contradiction. And so it's for this reason that many physicists think fast and light communication or travel must be impossible. Anyway, my friend called me on her Tachyonic Ants telephone earlier today. She said something about returning a call. 